Hey everybody, I am painting uh, Frankenstein on a canvas. It's going to be kind of cool because I can add it onto a door. I can put it, I can hang it from a door and it can be a regular door um, decoration. And I don't know if you can see his face, but I quick drew him up. I, I, um, before I went live, I was kind of like, oh gosh, I did not. Hey Andrea, how is it going? Um, I forgot, like, oh gosh, I didn't even uh, dry, draw this on a canvas, so I kind of like, okay, quick, um, put that together before I get started. So, um, trying things a little differently here, um, hoping that I'll be able to kind of show you a little bit about what I'm doing and maybe how I'm doing it, but I'm going to use uh, some bottled acrylics, I'm going to use some lime tree green, I'm going to use some black. Um, I'm going to have to decide what to paint the background. I may need some of your help to do that. Um, I'm actually going to get some silver. Hold on real quick. I am down in my studio, down in my basement, and I have all my paints kind of over here and underneath my counter here, so it's kind of nice. Um, I have all my brushes all ready for me, which is really nice, but so yeah. Hi Sue, how are you? Hope you're having a really good night. I'm really glad you guys have joined me. This is going to be fun. Um, I put on there before, if you have a beverage, I actually did grab myself a beverage. I have a little cider boys. I'm not a big um, alcoholic beverage person, but I have found that I really like cider boys a lot. So I thought, you know, I'm going to paint and I'm going to have a little cider boys. So I'm also using a little bit of white. Hey Stacy, how are you? Hope you're having a good night. I'm actually going to grab another green. Sorry, that was kind of squirrely. Let me grab another green. Uh, I'm going to grab a darker green. And lots of times I use apple barrel paints um, in my kits that I'm going to start doing. Um, I'm using apple barrel, mostly apple barrel paints, and I'm trying to look, trying to find a dark green. Oh, I miss your face too. I miss your face. I miss your face. I need to try some of your nails, Stacy. Nancy, Stacy does um, Color Street, am I right? Nails, and um, she always has such cool, cool nails. And um, Lord knows, my nails are, you know, non-colorful, but. Hey Jennifer, glad you're here. Glad you could join. Um, I am painting, for those of you just hopping on, um, I am painting Frankenstein here, a door canvas. And um, if you might have noticed, um, I have a little bit of orange on there. It's an older canvas and I kind of had it stored along with some other stuff and a little bit of orange got on there. So, um, <laughs> yes, I do, Stacy. You are right. I totally do. Um, hook me up, by the way. Hook me up. Um, so I have a little bit of orange on my canvas from something that bumped up against it, but it's not a big deal. I will just use it and paint over the top, and it's not a big deal. So I am painting um, around my drawing that I did with a pencil. I just pencil it on real real quick um, if if you like this design let me know because um, I'm turning things into kits and I'm turning things into templates that people can download and trace with because I know sometimes people are very uh, shy when it comes to painting and feeling like they can't draw or they can't um, paint or whatever and I know for me, like, I just sometimes, like tonight, I'm like, I'm just going to go paint and I'm going to see if anybody's around and um, have them join me and hang out for a while. Um, but people get so wigged out about, um, I'm not an artist, I'm not creative, I don't think I can do this, whatever. And um, I'm here to tell you that, yes, yes, you totally can. Yes, you totally can. So, um I want to make it as easy as possible for people to be able to just paint and create and have fun. Because really this is what it's all about. Um, 
is just to have fun and just enjoy yourself. So if you can see, I am just using this lime tree green here and I am painting in his face. This would be a really fun um, door decoration. You could put a little hook on your door. I, I love um, the removable hooks. You could put a little hook. Hey Terry, how's it going? Um, you could put a little hook on your door and hang it from your door for Halloween. And it's, you know, it's art. You have art on your door and it's pretty awesome. So, um, yeah, but if you guys have questions while I'm working, please, please, please feel free to ask and I'll try to catch them trying to watch. Um, <laughs> Terry, I missed you when you were in town. I didn't get to see you. I'm, I was sad about that. Um, I'll put a, I, I'm obsessed, sorry, I'm a little squirrely this tonight. Um, obsessed with the removable hooks. I love them because I can put it anywhere and remove it and it doesn't wreck my door. It doesn't wreck my wall. It doesn't wreck anything. So that's really my favorite things right now. <clears throat> How are you doing, Terry? Where are you now? You're kind of all over. You're the gypsy. The gypsy. So yeah, hop on. Feel free to let me know that you're here. And I'm thinking I should really have my iPad a little higher to see if you guys can see how I'm painting. Let me, I'm just gonna move you guys for a second. I'm still learning what works best as a setup here. And I'm hoping, there we go. There we go, that's a little better. Let me know if that's better, if you can see it better. Um, I think it is better actually. Um, I'm kind of playing around with cameras and what works best. Shoot. There we go. And figuring out um, what works, what doesn't work, all that good stuff. So. Um, yeah, so you guys are along with, along the ride with me. Um, so I'm just using this green here and I'm just going to get everything coated really, really well. I'm using a white canvas tonight. Sometimes I use black canvas. Sometimes I use white canvas. Uh, white canvas kind of suited this project a little bit better. I thought Ooh, I got a goober paint down there. Um, so I'm using a white it is a 16 by 24, I believe, canvas. <laughs> I'm not down by the river. Live in DC now, can see the paint bottles. Can I see the paint? Oh, sure. Yeah. They're just the Apple Barrel, um, just the Apple Barrel brand, but they all like, Here's a multi-surface one. I mean, they're all, they all really work pretty good. Ceramicote, actually Ceramicote is like my favorite brand to use for stuff, but, um, you know, the Apple Barrel, I have a ton of Apple Barrel paints and I'm all about, you know, using what you got, so. Um, and usually in my kits, I put the Apple Barrel in there just because they're so easy to find. And you're welcome. So they're so easy to find and you can pretty much get them anywhere. Um, so that if somebody tries a paint or does a kit or does a project and they really liked it and they want to do it again, then I, that's why I use those kind of paints because then they can easily find them. Um, Terry, I was in DC this past summer uh, for a conference and was there for like three days. So it was the first time, first time to DC. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Shoot, I just dipped in my black. I do that all the time. Just 
wash it off. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. So I almost have my green, my first coat of green. I'm going to have to put uh, multiple coats in a few spots, I think, just because it's a little thin. And I don't want to see. Hi, Annie. How are you? Oh, my gosh. It's been forever since I've, I've seen her talk to you. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're doing great. So we're just painting a, painting a Frankenstein here, a little Halloween door art or wall art. And I'm sure I will have this one as a kit on my site too. Um, don't forget, you guys, that I have, I don't think I have my, I don't have my coffee cups down here with me. Um, I have a full um, workshop that I'm almost finished with. I will probably finish all the little detail -y technical stuff tonight. Um, and then I am going to have... Um, a drawing for a kit for the full for that full project. I'm about to move to the other side of the living room. So can I show my amazing Oh absolutely. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes you can show your husband Stacy. Alright. And I'm hoping my technology holds out. And if something happens, I totally apologize. Like I said, it's just kind of, I'm just kind of figuring this out as I go. And it's really fun. And if somebody would have told me probably five years that I would be trying to paint stuff on Facebook and do Facebook Lives, I would have told them they were a nutcase. All right. I am going to add... A little bit of this dark green in here. We're going to bring out his nose. And I'm doing a technique called wet on wet. Just wet paint on wet paint. So I love that technique on with blending. Um, Cause it just, it, it just makes for me, not everybody, but for me, it's really an easy, easy, easy way. Whoops, I went a little far with my eyes, but that's okay. Um, it's really easy way to blend, to blend paint. Hey, Jeanette. Hey, Chris. Hi. Glad you guys are joining me. I figured I'd jump on here and do a little painting. My husband is in North Dakota with my son. This sounds so bad. I've had the absolute best couple of days. I've been home alone. Nobody has been here. Um, I've been home alone. I, my husband and my older son are, are in North Dakota. My younger son, last night, he actually just got home, um, was with my brother-in-law and sister-in-law at their house last night and pretty much most of the day today. My daughter is in, in college at Carroll University, so she's... Uh, hour and 45 minutes away and the dog was gone with my husband and son hunting so um, I was home alone and it was glorious it was glorious I got the house cleaned and nobody messed it up nobody was here to throw dishes in the sink I washed the floor there were no footprints on the floor it was absolutely amazing So yeah, as I was saying a little while ago, sorry you guys, I get a little squirrely sometimes, my brain squirrels. Um, as I was saying earlier, I am going to run a um, drawing for the coffee cup. Um, hey Annie. I'm going to run, run a contest for the coffee cup kit giveaway. So I, I have the full kit. Um, I am finding that uh, Apple Barrel and probably the other paint companies have paints that 
they either change the name or they, hey Haley, um, they either change the name or they get rid of them altogether and replace them with a different color. And so um, I'm going to have to make a note on my um, kits that some of the paints may be a different name or a different color, but they will work with the project that we're doing. So I'm going to have to make, I'll make a note of that on, on the website that it's just, it's, they change it and it's kind of out of my control. So it is what it is. It's fine. We'll, we'll adjust, we'll adjust and make do. I'm actually, there we go. I'm going to add the little bit of green in there. Let me know what you guys are doing. Aw, Haley. I miss your face too, Haley. I saw your guys' face. I haven't seen you guys, all of you, in a really long time. I'm super glad you're here. Haley is so creative. And she's got an awesome store. She does sex. She has a secondhand clothing store also. And she's a surgical tech and a mom and a wife. And she's a busy lady too. So I know life gets crazy for everybody. So I'm using a little bit of this darker green, just kind of shading it in as I go. Make sure to uh, let me know you're here if you're jumping on. And then uh, also, what are you up to tonight? I think I just made mention I have a little, little bit of Cider Boys over here that I'm enjoying very much. While I'm doing my painting. I gotta fix something here. Oh. There we go. So I'm just adding a little bit of a darker color. Um, creative. Like my favorite aunt. Aw. You are so t aw. You are so sweet. Thank you, Haley. Oh my gosh. I am so. I thought about this today as I was um, driving, like how how lucky I am that I can um, do this kind of stuff and, and be able to share it with you guys. And I was at Michael's this afternoon and I was looking at some paint and canvases and just kind of bumming around a little bit. And like, I just feel so lucky to be able to share this with you guys and be able to do this. So. Thank you very much for all your encouragement and your kind words and all the all the great messages that you guys give me. It's it's amazing. I would like to do a few of these uh, part like not like a I don't know I hate to call it a party because like the whole paint party thing has kind of run its course in my opinion. Um, but having it having a a virtual paint party, I guess, is what we could call it. Um, it's so much fun. And I'm almost thinking of doing like a kid of the month and then, uh, or a project of the month and then doing like a live, a live uh, painting party with everybody online. And then you can sit at your house, at your table, wherever you're at in your pajamas, hair up, sweatshirt, have your favorite beverage, um, and just hang out, paint, have fun, talk to each other online. It was so fun. So fun. Those of you with little kids or not so little kids, you don't have to worry about child care. You can still, um, still create and have fun. So, 
All right, let's see. Um, I am going to go and I'm going to grab some of this white. And I'm going to start putting a coat because I know that I'm going to need more than one coat, I think, on those eyes. Also, guys, a trick. I have all my stuff here. A trick is a hair dryer. I love using my hair dryer. I love using my hair dryer to quick dry to quick dry an area that needs to be dry. Because lots of times, if you paint wet paint on wet paint, just like I just did right now, um, you'll pick up some of the other color that's that you don't want. And so, using a hair dryer for a couple of seconds and just hitting it with a hair dryer really helps. Hey, Kathleen. How are you? How are you doing? I'm glad you jumped on. Please guys, please make sure to share this too. It's not, it's not any fun if we uh, keep this to ourselves. So if you know people or you just want to share it, on your page and let people know that there's this video be, will be available after the live. I'll post it um, for anybody that feels like they want to try this. Please do so. And I'm here too. If anybody ever, if ever, if and blah, 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 I cannot talk. If anybody ever needs um, help or you have a question about anything, just send me a message. I am more than happy to um, help you or answer a question or give you a little feedback if you want it or whatever. I'm happy to do that. All right. Picked up a little of that green with that eye, but that's okay. I'll let it dry and then I'll just paint. I'll just let it, I'll just paint uh, when it's dry. Otherwise, I'll hit it with a hair dryer. You are such an aw, thank you, Kathleen. You're an awesome person, period. End of story, how about that? Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go with a round brush. I've been using a flat brush. So I'm gonna go with a round brush. I'm gonna add the black pupil parts to his eyes. I did do the, or the, I did do the highlight in there and I probably should have waited. Thinking back right now, but I'll try to be really careful so that I don't touch it. I always love, all of a sudden the eyes start to come to life when you start adding the pupils and the irises and the highlights. It's like my favorite part of doing faces. I'm just going to bring his eyelid over a little bit, like so. I just dragged my arm in the green, that's all right. Oh, this is the first time you've ever saw, oh, I have I haven't done a whole lot of them, but that's going to change because I'm going to be doing a lot more of them. A lot more of them. This is so much fun. So I'm like, why should I, why should I have all the fun, you know? And share it with you guys. I have so many um, ideas and so much stuff that I try and, um, you know, yeah, it's it's fun when I do it, but you know, it's so much more fun when I can share it with other people and do it at the same time. So. Put 
putting together the um, coffee cup workshop has been so much fun as well. I have a love-hate relationship with technology. Like I had this, I had edited the videos and I used a program that was a little bit older. I've had it for a while and I knew that they updated things and uh, went to download them after I was done editing them and then they would not download and so I had to do a whole bunch of stuff to get things to download and it's like oh my gosh but I figured it out I figured it out all right hi Lexi how are you I have not seen you in forever either I hope you're doing great I'm just looking back here at my big pattern that I, I have a big um, Frankenstein pattern that I used. I actually did a, a wood cutout one um, and have not painted the wood cutout part one yet. It was They call them door hangers. You make it look so easy. You're so, oh, thank you. It, honestly, it is easy. It is super, super easy. It's super easy. And when you like, when you have them have a video that's broken down into like sections and you're taking it one section at a time, it's super easy. It really is. But thank you. Seriously, you guys, I know everybody's, oh, I can't do it. Yes, 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 you can. I promise you, you can do this. I promise you, you can do this. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna grab a bigger brush. And we're gonna go after the hair here. Um, I am looking for ideas, guys. I am looking for ideas for his shirt, and I'm looking for ideas for the background. Throw them at me. What color should I do his shirt? What color should I do the background? What color would you like to see for the background? I'm leaving it open, help me out. And you have to remember, I have used one, two, three, four colors so far. Four colors, that's it. So it's not like I've used a ton of colors. Um. I do have some of that orange still showing through though. I see that I'm gonna have to go hit that with a little extra extra paint. That's the one the one thing about these um, apple barrel paints is that they're super easy to use. You can find them pretty much anywhere. Um, they're not real expensive. I mean they run maybe one dollar forty, dollar twenty. Um, sometimes Walmart has them on special or on clearance. Um, so use uh, either Hobby Lobby or Michael's coupons. You have 40% off. I mean, holy cow. Hey, Tina, how are you? Super glad you're here. Super glad you're here. Um, I like them. I do use tube paint, tube acrylic sometimes, um, but when I'm teaching and showing painting, I want people to not feel, um, not feel like they can't do this because we're using like a different artist type acrylic. I mean, all paint is. I mean, I could use, I could use the um, little latex paper, um, latex paint samples that you get at like at Home Depot or Menards or wherever. Um, I could use those to paint even. I mean, you can, you can use, there are no rules. And it took me, I don't know why, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm not really sure why. But I always thought there were just all of these rules that I had to follow and certain supplies I had to use and, um, when I was doing any kind of artwork, which of course then I didn't do it because I didn't have the stuff. I didn't have the right whatever. And um, for a long time, like I didn't do a lot of work for myself. 
because I just didn't think I had the right stuff. And um, I don't know what changed that. I'm not really sure why all of a sudden that changed, but I was like, that's so stupid. His shirt should be dark blue. Dark blue. I like it. I like it. Good call, Haley. Good call. All right. Let me see what I have for dark blue. I know I have, I have a really nice, actually, let me look under here. I have some under my cabinet. Let me look. I know I have some really nice dark blues. Do you think I need a little more paint, guys? Hey, Cheryl. Let's see. I have... I have two blue. Ugh. We're taking votes, Cheryl, on what color. I don't know if you can see that. I've got that blue. That's two blue. I've got paleo blue. I don't know if I can get the top off that one. That's like a darker, like a darker blue. Um, let's see. I have cobalt blue. That's like really blue though. I don't know if that's, that might be too blue. Maybe the paleo blue. The paleo blue might be the way to go. I can't get the top off. First one. Stacy says first one. That one? The two blue? Is that the one you think, guys? The two blue? I'm going to need to bring that some of that up into his uh, eyelids, too, with that blue done. That's the one thing you want to do always, too, is uh, you always want to repeat a color. If you've used a color once before, you always want to repeat it somewhere else just so that it doesn't um, look. All right. So it doesn't look like it's just like one color sticking out. All right, so I have the two blue, Apple Barrel two blue. You can see that's, that's that one right there. Yes, two blue, Haley agrees. All right, two blue it is. I got two blue. I'm gonna quick throw a little bit of light green though on here and cover up. I'm gonna have to go back with a little dark green to cover up some of those little red spots that were on my canvas. Like I said, I'm all about just using what you got. Um, when I do my kits, I have like uh, certain colors I go with and certain whatever, but truly use what you got. You don't have to go out and buy brand new paint every time, that's silly. That's silly. Although you would think I did with all the blue I have in the, in all my, believe it or not, I know it's hard to believe, but pretty much all of my um, colors, I have like 8 million different varieties of them. But nobody complains when they have to try to find, when they have to try to find some paint around here or anything else for that matter. So I'm just going in really quick so I can get a second coat of the lime tree green and it'll dry really quick. That is the one nice thing too about, ooh, I went a little far. Um, that's the one nice thing about these paints too, you guys, is that they dry pretty quick, pretty quick. All right, let's hit that shirt. I'm gonna move that up a little bit. My water is really dirty. I should have brought in another container for washing my brush. That black really killed the water. 
All right, here we go with the true blue. Um, I just need to mix it a little bit. It's not really, some colors are better coverage than others. So I'm just gonna see if it, oh yeah, it just needs to be mixed a little bit um, better. So there's our two blue. For the shirt. I kind of wish that this canvas was a little larger. And actually, I'm gonna bring his shoulders right off the edge here. I have him drawn and I'm gonna wrap my color around the side. Always make sure to wrap your color if you're using a um, canvas, canvas board. Um, make sure to wrap your color around the edges because it just gives it that finished look. Or sometimes um, I won't use the same colors, but I will make sure that the side is painted just because it just it just finishes it a lot nicer. Aw, oh, thanks, Stacy. Thank you. Glad you like it. That blue did make it pop. It definitely made it pop. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that shoulder. I had it drawn going off the side but or down right here, but I think I'm gonna bring that over. So I'm going to add this blue and it's definitely going to take another coat of that blue. I hate wrapping the side. I know, I know, but it makes it look finished. Haley does not like wrapping the sides, but it just makes it look it makes it look finished. If you leave it white, then it just look, kind of looks like you forgot to to finish the painting. So, but if that's, you know, it's your painting, do what you want. Do what you want. I always wrap the sides. That's just me. All right. There we go. We got that blue on there. Start thinking about the background. I kind of have an idea. Hi, Melody. How are you? Um, I kind of have an idea of what I think, but I'm kind of curious as to what other people will think. So make sure, uh, make sure to vote what color the background behind him should be. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring a little bit of that blue, same blue up into the eyelids. And I'm kind of pushing my luck with a really, really big brush. Orange sunset. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what I was thinking too, Stacy. Orange, kind of like a darker, darker, uh, lighter kind of orange. Maybe blend them. Kind of a sunset-y kind of idea maybe. I did find out, you guys, I don't know if you knew this, but um, if, if you do a live video in just a group versus on a page, it can't be shared. I did not know that. I did not know that. And I do have a Laugh Love Paint page, but 
haven't really done a whole lot with it. I mean, it's there's some stuff on there, but not like the group. Um, so I may have to, in the future, move my live videos over there so that we can share them. I can download it from a group and then just repost it somewhere, but like if you guys want to share this, I can't, I don't think you can share it. Which, that kind of sucks, Facebook. I'm going to tell, tell you right now, Mark Zuckerberg. We need to be able to share these videos. People want to learn. There we go. Looking good. This eye is a little small though, so I'm going to... Here's what I mean. You can't make a mistake. If you make a mistake, you can paint over it. So I am going to make this eye a little bigger. The eyelid. I'm going to extend it just a little bit. Which means I'm also going to have to extend that white part and the black. Am I afraid? Heck no. Because if ever you make a mistake, you can paint right over it. Not a big deal. There. Whoop, whoop. There we go. First coats of blue, I think. Oh, I think I'm going to bring in a super light, light, light. I'm going to mix. Here we go. Let's go mixing. I'm going to take a little bit of this white and the blue that we have. And we're going to give them those real icy looking blue eyes. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of green in with the eyelids. So I'm just doing the iris part of the eye. I'm going to pull some of that color out this way. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me know if you can see that because it's, it's kind of hard for me to be able to see how much you guys can see from the angle of my iPad right now. It went a little darker than what I really wanted it to do. So I'm just kind of pulling um, the blue. It's blue and white mixed. I'm going to get it a little bit lighter right around the pupil part. Oh, that's right. Kind of like so. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the white. Do the same thing over here. And then I'm going to have to straighten out that black a little bit. Which is totally fine. It's not a big deal. There we go. Oh, let's see. Um, I'm going to bring a little of that light blue up here on this top of his shoulder on this side and the top of his shoulder on this side. Haley, I'm wrapping it. Just teasing you. I'm going to bring a little of that blue down here just so I don't have this big, harsh line on him. I'm 
There we go. There. And we got it on that side. Okay. So I'm going to bring a little of this white also up here. Just in the middle. And then I'm also going to mix a little bit of that dark green. Anybody that just comes on is going to be like, that so, looks so weird. Why are you doing that? You'll see. You'll find out. I think Uncle Corey should do a class with you. Couples class. Oh, oh, boy. I don't know if you've ever heard of Uncle Corey's ZZ Top keychain that he made in high school medals class. I have heard about it multiple times, and he's very proud of it. Very proud of it. In fact, I think he has it in his dresser as we speak. He always brings it up. Whenever somebody has mentioned something about me um, being art, you know, art something, whatever, teaching or um, creating art or whatever, he'll always bring out the, have I told you about the ZZ Top keychain I made in high school medals class? He's so funny. That would be fun, though. I think that would be fun. All right. Let's start mixing a little bit of that dark green in here on his eyelid. I'm not sure what that's going to do, but we're going to try it. And what I'm going to do is I have paint on my I have paint on my brush. I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm just going to wipe it off. I'm not washing my brush off, but I'm just wiping off the extra paint that I have on my brush so I can really lightly, 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 barely touch my canvas and blend it. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that, but it gives it a darker shadow kind of on the side without too much without looking too much. It almost kind of turns it into like a turquoisey kind of blue, but I don't lose that true blue color that's underneath. Well, that side was a lot easier to do than this side. There we go. There we go. You rock that smoky eye. <laughs> Funny. You rock that smoky eye. Yeah, it does kind of look like a little smoky eye shadow going on. That's funny, Haley. That's awesome. I'm going to get this white out of my brush here. Uh, I am lucky if I have mascara on, let me tell you, for my own makeup. Oh, Lord. I was not made to be a fashionista, I'll tell you that. Haley. Haley's the one that needs to help me with the wardrobe stuff. She's the one that knows clothing. If anybody's ever in Stockbridge, right between... Uh, Appleton and Fond du Lac on off right off of Highway 51. Is it Haley? Um, she's got a cute little store in the Mud Creek, like little mall, little strip mall. She's right in the back. I go for comfort. That's what I go for. Comfort. Because, Lord knows, as you can see on my sweatshirt, I just have blue paint all over it. Um, Lord knows that I do not keep clothes clean. And it drives my husband, Corey, crazy. 
drives him crazy. I should maybe invest in an apron. Perhaps, maybe. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, we're gonna go back. We're gonna start adding. If you notice, I am not painting um, straight back and forth. I am almost kind of using like a rounded stroke, almost like a um, just like the curve of the cheek. It just kind of gives it a little extra, a little extra. Haley, Highway 55, sorry. I couldn't remember if it was 51 or 55. They kind of run together at some point, so that's right, it would be 55. So Highway 55. Um, yeah. So, just adding a little extra layer of paint here just to get rid of get rid of some of the lines I'm seeing that the from the last strokes that I did. And then I'm going to have to definitely go back and fix a couple things, but not a big deal by any means. Again, I have to make sure to expand that white part of the eye and I did pick up some green the last time so I am gonna have to um I am gonna have to go back and redo a little bit of that white but it's not a big deal. I'm I'm glad you guys see my mistakes too because um like I say everything is repaintable everything is fixable everything is figure outable Anybody that knows Marie Forleo, you'll know that she just wrote a book called um, Everything is Figure Outable. And I just started reading it. It's really good so far. Um, she just talks, you know, she just talks about like anything you want to do, you can figure out how to do it. There's really no excuse for not to do you may not know what to do right away like me doing these videos who you know I didn't know I get what I was doing sometimes I question if I still do um, but everything's figure outable okay so I am gonna go in we're gonna try this I think I'm gonna add uh, I'm gonna have to add a little water that black too it's a little thick that's one way also to um, Make your paint movable. Sometimes you need to to paint like a real thin area, and uh, the paint won't move very easily. So I add just a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water. And again, let the brush do the work. Sometimes we force, especially like little little areas like this. Um, we force it to work rather than letting the brush do the work. So. I'm just going to do a real light line. Just like so. And I'm going to do a real light line over here.
I don't know if anybody else has ever tried Cider Boys. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it's absolutely my new favorite. <laughs> I'm not an adult beverage. <clears throat> Clearly, I can't do this. Oh, chug. <clears throat> Stacy, I can't even drink it, let alone chug it. <clears throat> Holy cow. <clears throat> My goodness. That's what I get <clears throat> trying to drink while I'm painting, for God's sakes. Shout out if you're having a cocktail. Oh, Haley Ann, it's so good. Yes, it is. <clears throat> Shout out. Wouldn't it be fun, you guys, to have like a painting happy hour online? You can like have whatever you want while you're painting and hanging out. That would be so fun. That would be so fun. Everybody's having a adult beverage. Oh man, I really messed that side up. Having an adult beverage and paint and have fun. Oh my gosh, that would be great. I think I should do that. I should organize that. I've got to fix this. This is not good. I don't like this at all. Just went over the just went over the uh, black that was wet but that's okay all right I'm gonna fix this white over here no I'm not but I need one <laughs> Kathleen you work on that there lady make it happen you make it happen There we go. Fixing up that eye, and then I'm just going to bring it over here so it matches up the other side a little bit. There we go. Just going to add a little highlight. So his hairs should be down there. And this is up here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome saucin. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm also, let's see, I'm going to add a little water. Like I said, I may have to run and get some clean water. <clears throat> I need to add a little highlight on his nose. And I'm kind of, this is called scumbling when you kind of, kind of scrub your paint around. It's called scumbling. Your painting keeps getting better and better. I think I'll go get one. You are so funny. Oh, good. Get one. Stacy. Stacy's got a Captain and Diet Coke. And the depressing, oh, turn that news off. Turn it off. There is nothing good about it. There is nothing good about it. Ugh. We have gotten to the point almost in our house, like, really, the only thing I watch the news for is for the weather, definitely the traffic in the morning, and maybe some local stuff, the rest of it. Not worth my time. Can't control it. Nothing I can do about it. So, not even going to worry about it. Not even going to pay attention to it. 
nothing I can do to, to, to fix it, change it, whatever. So, just not going to worry about it. Paying more attention to you and thanking you for the smells. Good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm so glad you're here. I miss you. I miss you so much. All right. We got to do something about this part right here. That needs a little help. So I'm going to add a little bit of this light green. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the dark green. Barely any. Because that dark green actually changes stuff pretty quickly. Changes stuff pretty quickly. And then I'm going to just blend it out. Just blend it out. Scumble that a little bit over here. There we go. It's funny, after everything kind of dries, I can usually see spots where kind of canvas is showing through, and I'm not really sure why in some spots it shows and in some spots it doesn't, but it's, it's really weird. Really weird. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of, let's see, a little bit of white. Put a few little highlights in here. And this hair. There we go. Um, I'm gonna add a little more. I've got some funky stuff going on on my palette. I'm not really sure. It's like picking up. I don't know if it's paint that's dried and then it's picking it up underneath it. Usually that doesn't happen. So I'm getting like little chunky chunks underneath. That's really kind of weird. <clears throat> yes, chunky chunks is a technical art term, by the way. See, right? I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like little. There we go. Little pieces of something or other. All right. I may hit this with a hair dryer in a second. Just so I can kind of move on with a few things. I'm going to actually go back into that blue some more. Uh, that's my stage name. <laughs> Chunky Chunks. Well, let me know when you're performing next, Stacy. I'd love to come and watch you. Not in a weird way. Do you have a class like this every Saturday night? I do not, actually, Kathleen. This is the first Saturday night that I um, am doing this, but I am thinking that this could be a regular thing. Um, we'll see. I am trying to figure out like the best time for uh, coming lives and... Um, during the week sometimes, during the, on the Saturdays, um, like I said, this is kind of a rare occurrence that, um, nobody, I'm the only one home, well, Jack's home now, but, um, 
I've been the only one home since last night and it has been quiet and it has been delightful. Usually I'm down in the basement right now and usually it sounds like you should. Um, usually it sounds like there is a herd of cattle walking across the floor upstairs with people at a baseball game because they're all yelling. Um, and not like fighting yelling, but they like talk, like they don't know how to talk with inside voices. It's like, seriously? So whenever I um, go live, I always warn people like, uh, it is live and I do have children. So you never know, and a husband as well, who really has no idea uh, how to make it so that they can't be heard. Um, so lots of times I'll have, you know, they'll hear it, probably. Or they'll come knocking on mom. Uh, what do you need? Or the dog. The dog ends up pump, punching the door open. It's funny. Like, she just hits the door. It's weird. But she does. Alright. Mm, I'm not so sure that I like that. I added a little bit of highlight. I should have just left it along the top. I think I'm going to go back and fix that. I'll go back and fix that. Alright. Oh, goodness sakes. This is going pretty quick. Pretty quick. Some of you are probably thinking, um, not really. I'm going to add a little bit of dark shadow underneath here. Just a little bit of black. That was a really good choice, you guys, with the blue. I really am glad I asked. Really good choice. I'm trying to figure out if I would have this on a door it should be hey Dana how are you I'm so glad you are here I'm so glad you have joined us um, if we have this on a door it's a cute painting for a wall or a door wherever but if you wanted to put like welcome on it or something like that you could maybe add it down like across like the side or the bottom or something but I don't know. You would maybe need a bigger canvas and have more room on the bottom to be able to do something like that. I don't know. Or maybe you just, I, uh, I'm talking to myself now. Sorry. Um, I'd have to figure out where I could add, where I could add that extra little message for a door. To go on. All right. I'm going to do a little black line here too. Just kind of like a shirt. Hey, Lori! Lori Ann Nelson. Lori just opened her own store in, um, as a manager in Madison. Sierra store. So congratulations. Heading to bed, we'll probably dream of painting. Good. I'm glad you'll dream of painting, Melody. You can finish. You can see the end. You can see the end of it. I'll post it um, after we're all done. So you won't miss. You won't miss it. You'll be able to see it. So let's see. I'm going to uh, take, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till that's dry because that's the right thing and the smart thing to do. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go back and fix it. 
I am notorious for not waiting. Patience is not a high point for me. So, I struggle. I'm on a struggle bus when it comes to paint drawing. All right. All right, I'm gonna grab some more water really, really quick. Chat amongst yourselves. Drink your cocktail if you have a cocktail. Okay, that was the speediest paint container refill clean I think I've ever done. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm gonna hit this with a tiny bit of the blue. Got a little, little bit too white, so I'm gonna just. We add a little bit of blue. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, note to self, have two containers of water the next time I do this so that I don't have to quick run and switch out my water bottle or my water container for painting my brush. I'm still picking up black on there. It's horrible. It's all right. Again, patience, Mullerdinsky. There we go. All right, I'm gonna bring this black line across for the eye, like so. Okay, let's hit it up with the silver. Let's go with the silver. Shake this up really good. Now, some people are fans of glitter. It has its place in my mind. Um, the silver may look too gray for some. Um, it does have a metallic quality to it, but it's not real, 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 real shiny, and it's not really, 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 really silvery. So, you may decide to hit it with a little bit of glitter, and I may do that once this is dry. I may do that just to see what that looks like um, once, ooh, once the silver's dry. I almost flopped over here. Just like that. So you can kind of see the canvas underneath it, but you know, that's fine. I am not a very good judge to making everything totally symmetrical either, so. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go back up. And I'm going to fix that black. I need to get more black on my palette here. There we go. 
that's a little better. I like that. Just I like a highlight just on the top. I don't want it on the I don't want it on the bottom either. So that will work. That will work. All right. Let me see if I can bring some of this darker green in here now, and if that helps out with that because it picked up some of the black. I mean, it looks kind of brown and not what I want. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the light green, take a little bit of the dark green, and just kind of blend it in that area that would be shadowed. You know what's so awesome, you guys, is that you all don't really know each other. Some of you, a couple of you do, but um, not everybody knows each other. But there are, this is a huge, amazing group right here of amazing ladies. Like, not, I'm not even joking. Super, super awesome people. Talented at so many things in so many different different ways um, and every single every single one of you is awesome and amazing and I hope that you know that and I'm not I'm not just saying that and it's amazing we're all in like one spot at one time that is crazy. Okay. Um, take a little bit. Highlight that top of the eye there. Um, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to re- do the black pupil so that I get a really nice tight line before we start working on that back round. Stacy voted for like a sunsetty orange. Any other ideas? Where would we go with the sunsetty orange? I like the idea. That's I thought of orange first, but. I really wanted to hear what you guys thought. There we go. Yay! This is coming together so good, you guys. So good! Alright. Um... Let's see. I, I'm going to open up this one. I'm going to kind of look. I'm going to go with a little bit darker. I have like a tangerine and a nectarine. The nectarine, or no, apricot. Apricot and tangerine, they're like the exact same color. They're just a different type of paint. Um, it's so crazy. I'm going to see if I can find kind of a darker, I don't really want super dark orange, but I got pumpkin orange. I got lots of apricot, lots of nectarine because that is my favorite. Um, thinking, thinking we'll do the pumpkin orange since it is Halloween. And I may go back. I'm gonna probably go back and add a little bit more outline around his face. Um, and then that, that ear still bothers me. So I will go back and I think I'm going to add an orange button on the bottom here. And I'm going to switch out my palettes. If you guys noticed, my palette is an old ice cream lid. And I love it because I can peel the paint off. And I have, look at I have all this paint, all this paint that's peeled off, 
and I actually use it to um, add to other paintings. So like the center of flowers and stuff. It's just fun. All right, so I'm gonna go in up here. I'm gonna add my orange along the very top. And of course I am gonna wrap it. I'm gonna turn it around later and do that as I get down closer to the bottom. Now this pumpkin orange is really, it doesn't coat super great. I'm gonna say I am not super impressed. And I maybe have to just mix it a little bit better. I may not have mixed it well enough, kind of like I did the blue. Um, I may have to just just mix it a little bit better. Yeah, that is a little better. I'm just going to kind of outline along the edge around him. And Kind of do that first. So that I don't mess that up. I still bopped over on the green, which I'll have to go back and touch up, but that's okay. That's kind of like the last things that I do is just go back and touch everything up. Just give it a good once over and um, fix any little parts that accidentally got a little blocked up and it happens all the time so it's not really a big deal. Hey Jennifer, how are you? Hope you're doing awesome tonight. Jennifer's also a fellow, fellow painter and artist and mixed media artist. She's awesome. So we are really almost not too far from finished with this. Um, I just need to figure out how, I think he just needs like a little welcome sign or something. Might be kind of fun is to add another smaller canvas on the bottom with like his hands or, and then it says welcome, hold like he's holding onto it. That would be kind of cute. Almost like a double painting. Stacy, what do you think of the uh, the orange? I'm thinking it looks pretty good. Let me know what you think. You were the one that voted for orange, so I wanted to I wanted to go with that. Like I said, that was kind of that was my thought also. Um, and I may I don't know, I'm a little nervous to mix and bring the color down, but maybe we'll do that with a different, like a darker, go to darker from darker to lighter. I think I might do that actually. I don't know why I said I was nervous. I'm not really, but we'll get one, one coat of, uh, one coat of the solid orange in there and then we'll go and start blending down And I'm wondering if I should go dark to light, maybe? Since our blue is dark, I 
think I'll probably go dark to light. Just because I think if we go light to dark, that dark, dark with dark is going to be too much. So for those of you that have may not heard, I have uh, almost finished the um, workshop for the stacked, uh, stacked coffee cup acrylic painting workshop. Um, there's a few little technical things that I need to do. It is um, a starter workshop. It is step by step and it's free. It is a free workshop. Um, the only thing that you'll need to do is just um, have to put your email in to be able to get to the page, but that's not a big deal. It's free. Um, now you have a choice. I am going to have a I'm going to have a kit that goes with it. And one lucky person um, will be able to win it, win the kit for the workshop. Um, but there will be kits available if you choose to buy it. Otherwise, the workshop comes with a full supply list. And it does come with a printable template. So if you want to draw the coffee cups yourself, you are more than welcome to do that. But at the same time, I wanted to make sure that everybody felt comfortable that they'd be able to do this painting because I know you can. And it's all, it's all drawn out for you. And you just print it off. You have to um, cut, the, cut the cups to fit on your canvas little piece of tape just to keep them in place and uh, you trace it on your canvas comes with a black canvas the paint that you need I usually say bring your own brush because everybody is just like a just like finding your favorite pen um, everybody kind of has their favorite brush but for this kit, for the first, um, oh shoot, for this first kit, um, I am including the brushes for the, for the kit that I'm giving away. So, and this first kit, I will um, include the brushes. Now I'm not quite sure, I have to look into shipping before I have a cost for the kit, but I want to make it as easy peasy as possible for people to be able to do these. And some people say, I don't know where to get the paints. I don't want, I don't have time to shop for it. I don't know where to get it. I don't live near a craft store. Um, you order the kit and you don't have to worry about it. Everything you need. Everything you need is right there. All right, so we have our background all in orange. I have wrapped the canvas. Um, and I think what I'll do now is I'm gonna go with the dark to light. And I'm gonna use a bigger brush for that. Um, just have to figure out what orange I want to add, or what do I want to use red for that, maybe? Hmm, let me see. Let me see what I've got in my orange box here for oranges. I have red, and I have like a rust color, but... I don't have a ton of oranges. Let me see if I got a darker, darker orange over here. 
I do. I do, I do, I do. I think it is. Yep. It's not, it's more like, I don't like it. try doing some red in there. I have bright red. Um, I have a color called ripe tomato that I really like to use, but um, I cannot find it in the stores. And I know that you can get it online. You can find it on the website or on different websites. Um, but I cannot find it in my local, my local craft stores. I bought it there. But, like I said before, um, they change colors or they change the name of the colors. I'm going to use a bright red right now. And with that bright red, I'm going to bring the dark to light. So I'm going to blend a little bit with the bright red. And we're going to change that uh, bright orange to a darker orange as it comes down. just taking a little bit of the red and I'm taking a little bit of the orange at the same time and I'm just kind of pulling that color through now I'm not using a ton of pressure because you can kind of see the brush strokes and some people are okay with that I I don't care for that I don't like that so as it comes down It's just going to come right back into that bright orange, but it kind of blends as it comes down. Just like that. And the, the thing that you have to remember is that you can't put a lot of pressure on the brush, really. because otherwise you get all those brush strokes, so. And it doesn't blend really well. There we go. I'm gonna use my small brush, put it right next to his face again. Come over here and get right next to your shirt. That blue is dry now, so I'm going to go ahead and paint the button. I'm going to let that dry and then repaint it again, um, just because. And I'm going to add a little white to it so it's not quite so see-through. And then I'll come back and paint it again when it's dry. Um, so it'll only take like one more layer of orange. That orange does not cover awesome on dark, on the dark stuff, so. All right, let's come on over on the other side here. And I'm just continuing to mix. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Super glad you joined us. We've had lots of great feedback tonight on colors to choose from. I've gotten some great ideas for the blue for the shirt, the orange for the background. I love getting at people's ideas because 
Lots of times they're way better than what I would have thought of anyway. I don't think I was going to go with the blue for the shirt, but I'm glad that I asked for opinions. Super glad. So for those of you that have just joined us or hop back on, um, I am blending down the dark to light with the orange. And it's working really, really well. Stacy had asked for a sunset orange for the background and she got a sunset orange for the background. Now remember, if you are working on a painting or you are doing one of the workshops that I have for you or you are um, needing some advice or you want to share or ask questions of the group, please, please, please go ahead and do so. You can send me an um, instant message. Um, I get those quite a bit with people just asking like, what is your opinion on this or what do you think I should do with that? or I'm stuck with this, or I can't get this to work, what am I missing, how do I mix this color, I get all kinds of different questions, so feel free to send me a message, and I can usually get back to you pretty quick. Um, Awesome. There we go. I'm gonna just add that wrapped dark orange all on the top. That's good. A couple little spots. Perfect. All right. It's still a little wet with that white, so I'm going to let that dry. Um, I'm going to go back with it just one more hit of the silver. Like I said before, if you are a glitter person, and you want to add a little more glitz to it, you can feel free to definitely do that. Add a little glitter to it with the glitter paint. And I may, I may do that, we'll see. And then we're gonna go back to touch-ups, finish that button, and then we're gonna call it a good. There we go. Just needed that extra coverage. You can kind of see the... Kind of see the um, canvas through there and I didn't want, I didn't want that. Now a lot of my paintings when I'm finished I will hit it with a clear um, spray paint Depending on what the painting is, sometimes I go with a satin, sometimes I go with a gloss. Very rarely do I go with a flat because I just like the little bit of a sheen to it. Um, so very rarely do I, I go with a gloss paint or a, go with a matte paint. Lots of times it's either gloss or satin. And all it is is like a Krylon clear spray paint. That's all that it is. Oops. A little 
this little room is half here. around. I'm going to give things just a little, just a little outline and it's not going to be perfect. I'm going to kind of just pull my, pull my color along. Lost my chin in there. I need to bring my chin back. I'm using a very small round brush. And I'm just very carefully outlining. little details here. There we go. Come on this side. And sometimes when I'm Doing something that's real uh, detail oriented, I have to remind myself to breathe. <laughs> well, it sounds weird, but I end up holding my breath while I'm doing stuff. And if you notice, lots of times I have to stop talking so that I don't mess up. Some people don't care for the outlines, that's okay. If you do not want to outline your painting, you don't have to. I like outline, I just I think it just kind of highlights everything, but some people don't, that's totally fine. Not a big deal. Don't like it, don't do it. to go back and just kind of fix up the black where I kind of splutched over a little. Black is real easy to fix. Darkest color. I'm just going back. I'm just doing all my little touch-ups here. Kind of fixing everything up. Like so. Uh, I still need to go back and fix that ear. For some reason, I have like little pieces in here, like little dark spots of something. So 
So I'm just going to go back and fix those. I have like little, these little schnibs of dry paint, and I'm not really sure where they came from, but it's a little bit annoying. Thanks, Lori. Thank you. Thank you. You might need a Frank on your door of your new place. Alright, so I'm going to use my little brush, come back up, touch up in there, the green is finally dry, so I'm going to come back up here and use the dark and light together. There. Much better. Much better. finish up that button and then I think this one is good to go I think we could call this one done mix a little bit of red in with that orange so I get that dark orange like I have up on top I'm gonna bring that in here for that button It's just not playing nice with me tonight at all. There we go. I'm just going to add a quick little outline also around his eye. I'm going to just take and darken up that true blue with a tiny little bit of black and just very carefully. that but not with black with blue instead just touched in the black instead of the blue Here in the line right here too. There we go. All 
right. Let me just hit this button. I just want to add the details to this button. Let me hit this button really quick. Plug yours, Kathleen. Hair dryer is an amazing thing. And I am double timing it here. I noticed a tiny little spot that needed a little fixing. So doing a little multitasking. There we go. All right. Doing a little multitasking. Just a tiny bit of that black. Doesn't the dryer spread the paint? Nope, nope, it doesn't. Not when I, if I don't, it's not a real strong, strong um, air coming out of it. And I don't have it super close to it. So it doesn't, it doesn't move it. And it's, if it was more watery, it would, but it's thicker paint. So it doesn't, it doesn't move the paint at all. That was a good question. All right, so. I don't know if you can kind of see, I'm adding some little, just a tiny little detail to the um, button. I'm just going to add a tiny little white to the top part. Blend it just a little bit because it's just a little harsh for my taste. I should have put a patch on his shirt. You're welcome. That was a great question. Okay. I may go back and put a patch on his shirt later. I think I'm going to call it done for now. Um, but I think I, I think I am going to go put a patch on his shirt. Um, I think it just needs something rather than just the solid blue. I think it needs to be broken up just a little bit. And as I kind of look things over, I can see things, just little, just little spots that need just a little fixing. So I'm kind of going back and doing that. But I think I am going to call it a night. I'm going to call her done for now. And uh, maybe come back tomorrow and finish that, finish that patch sometime. So... I hope you guys have a good night. Kathleen, I hope you have a great night. I'm so glad everybody joined me that did. Um, I will make sure to post a finished picture of our Frank here when everything is all dry and done. And uh, like I said, I think I'm going to add a patch to him. I think he needs a patch on his shirt. And um, I'm going to end up probably doing that tomorrow morning. So have a good night. And uh, we will hopefully see you soon back online. I'm so impressed. I knew you were. Aw. Thank you. Thank you, Kathleen. You are sweet. Thank you. So, here we go. I'll kind of show you. 
There you go. Now you can kind of see him a little better. He's cute. I like him a lot. All right. Have a good night. We'll see you later.